back like a sausage if I don't move. Tilly. All right there, Molly. Hello. How are you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Hello, Arthur. Hey, glad to have your Irish friend back. Uh, it's not really my friend. Well, okay then. Couple things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I. Uh, I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. Then we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Hello. Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes. And we can always make more money. We'll be okay. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party, then? Oh, shut up. What did I say? Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, then. Everyone's favorite uncle. I'm guessing I had some fun last night. Uncle's drinking again and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? Place is Mr. getting Strauss. to you. How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not Hello, good. Susan? Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Oh, hello, Arthur. Oh, good, Abigail? Yeah, starting to like this place, the boy too. Good, I'm glad. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. Oh, Driscoll boy. That dang liquor cleaned my plow. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, so you well, met good. Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. Yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Okay, speak later. Okay, Arthur. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? 
Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah! Well done. All right, skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. 
I say we follow him. All right. Lead the way. Been dead a couple of days, at least. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. You find anything, Arthur? Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. Should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Okay there, boy. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Easy, boy. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said... Did you fools shoot those bison? Hey, calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. 
What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get it out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now. Now what happens to poachers? I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
That's my boy. <laughs> hey, come on, boy. Relax. Come on now, boy. <clears throat> Yeah. You okay, boy? Yep. How you doing, boy? Arthur! Good. Yeah. You're back in one piece. Sir, what you doing? Excuse me? I said, what you doing, greaser? I'm just playing. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Get out of here, you drunken fool. Been hunting, huh?
Can't have that pot go completely empty. Very good. We were getting low. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Good, we really needed this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! You okay? Hi, Arthur. Don't know how we got anything done before you joined us. Huh. I like to keep busy. Anyway, keep it up. Sounds good. <laughs> 